Hi everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. Today is the 25th of April. Um, it's also Monday, which is also a public holiday here in Australia because tomorrow is Anzac Day. So because today is a public holiday, I figured I would take the time to film another studio vlog. I believe that the last time I filmed a studio vlog was back in January when we released um, the Leather Planners, which was such a big hit by the way. Thank you to everyone who's purchased one and some of you guys have even purchased two, so thank you very much. It means the world to me that you guys love the planners enough to buy two of them. A new studio vlog is long overdue and I thought I would start the video by bringing you guys up to date with what's been happening and also planning the rest of the day. So let's recap what's been happening at May Pepper Co during the last couple of months. So January was quite a hectic month, not going to lie, because we had so many things going on like the planner launch. So we launched our first leather planner in the A5 and half letter size in January. We also had the release of all the advent calendar items and also the subscription box items during January. February, we had to ship out all the subscription boxes as well as the Valentine's bundles that we had. And then in March, we had to um, prepare the subscription boxes. And then also we had the birthday sale, um, which was a huge, huge sale. So January to March was kind of hectic. And by the end of it all, after we had shipped out all the subscription boxes and the sale orders i was feeling so burnt out all throughout april i've been a little bit awol i've been trying to take it a little bit more easy um scaling back on things and trying to not work seven days a week because that's what i was doing before in january to march so i was working six days at may paper co and then one day at the family business, which was kind of crazy because I had no time to myself. I did not know how to wind down and I was just thinking about work all the time. And I realize now that I can't keep on doing that because right now I'm feeling very demotivated, very burnt out, and I'm trying to get my um, life back on track by spending more time outside, not working as hard, trying to limit the amount of work I do at home and do other things that I enjoy doing, like reading. I've been reading a lot more. And I'm not sure if it's the universe telling me something, but sales have been super slow the past couple of weeks. I'm not sure if any other small businesses are experiencing the same thing. And it could be because we've hit April and most people would have their planners by now. So usually sales do slow down during April to June. That's just the nature of my type of business. But this year has been super, super slow. And I don't know if it's because of inflation, people are holding their money a little bit more tightly or it could also be because of the war, no one knows exactly what's happening in the future. Or it could be because we just had Easter, people are traveling, people are going out more to eat, so they're not really online shopping as much. But it kind of came at the perfect time because having less sales kind of meant that I was forced to scale back and kind of reevaluate things, um, especially the way that I was working because working seven days a week is not sustainable. And I took this opportunity to clean up my office space a bit and also set up my um, office table because I believe it's been about six months since I've moved in. And literally I have not set up my office table at all just due to lack of time and um, energy. So I took this opportunity to finally set up my workspace because believe it or not, before that I just had papers thrown everywhere on any empty surface that I could um, use and I wasn't really feeling motivated to work or design but now that I've organized everything I purchased these these um, acrylic trays to put in my sticky notes and my pens um, it definitely looks more organized more clean and I feel a lot more inspired to work every time I sit at my desk 
So having said that, it's time to plan out the day and um, figure out what we're going to be doing. So let's move you guys to a vertical view. So what do we have planned for today? So this evening, Tash and I have a blog post that's going to be published and I'm yet to create all the graphics and promotional tools for that. So that's probably going to be a priority for today. I would also like to film at least one reel today. And we also have some new releases that are going to be launched this Friday and I'm yet to take the photos and create the listings for those so I'll probably try to schedule that in today. I'm also going to create the printable downloads for the sub box items today. So I'm trying to format the printable versions and list them alongside the physical and inserts from now on because I find that a lot of the times I forget to do the printable versions otherwise. So if I do them together, I'll most likely not forget. So what else do I have to do? So the um, planner samples actually came in today for the smaller sizes and I have to contact the supplier because there's a couple of issues that I had with them. So let's use a sticker for that. So yeah, I think that's everything that we're going to try to get done today. Um, let's get started with the blog post graphics. Before I head off, I wanted to show you guys the pen that I'm using. So it's the Sarasa Vintage, but with the metal barrel. And I feel like this is just such a premium feeling pen. Um, I love the Sarasa Vintage line because they're so muted and neutral. So I decided that I would try to invest into the metal version, the metal barrel, um, just because I love how it looks. I love how it feels. I love how weighty it is. Um, and the pen, the highlighter that I used for the checkboxes is the Mild Liner Highlighter in Mild Grey. I'm sure you guys all know about this highlighter already. So I know a lot of you guys have your own small businesses, whether it be sticker shops, some planet insert shops or um, anything else. I just wanted to show you guys what I use for my email marketing and it's a website called flowdesk.com. I've trialed um, MailChimp in the past and I did not like how clunky it felt. And also I believe there was a limit to how many emails you could send um, for free and after that it becomes um, more expensive with the more emails that you send. So I believe after 1000 contacts or email subscribers is when you start getting charged. And I was comparing the prices between the plans and I did not, um, <laughs> I was not about paying that much to send out emails every single month. So I found this email company called Flowdesk and I've been using it for two years and it's been amazing so far. It's a flat rate fee per year. So I don't know if you can pay month to month, but I pay a flat rate fee for a whole year. I've been using this for two years now and it's amazing. You basically get a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from so and they're all aesthetically pleasing so they go well with like you know the minimalist um, brands so you can choose all these different templates and really um, try with this is that they don't create new templates as much so it's basically like Canva but for email marketing if that makes sense. So this video isn't sponsored by them at all. They probably have no idea that I exist. I've been using their services for two years now but if you guys um, would like to try them out I do have an affiliate link so you can get one month free as well as 50% off your plan. Just finished designing the email that's going to go out for the blog post this afternoon. Um, as well as the social media post that's going on Instagram and Facebook. And my supplier just messaged me um, about the samples just then. So 
I figured it would be a good time to show you guys um, what they look like. Here we have the personal wide size, it's just the first size I picked up. Um, this is what the inside's going to look like. I did test out some inserts in this before with some tabs and I found out that the planner isn't long enough, so wide enough. So what happens is when you put a pen into the pen loop, the pen gets pushed against the planner tabs which causes the um, planner tabs to get bent which is not what we want so i've asked the manufacturer to extend the planner by a centimeter both sides to compensate for that and make sure that there's room for your dividers we also have here the mini hp size so i did receive the mini hp size before the personal wide size and let me tell you when i opened this up i was so disappointed so you can see here that the center of the planner looks like it doesn't have any um, structure to it at all. So you can see the quilting come up from behind. And I don't know what happened because you would assume that it would be constructed the same way as the half letter disc bound planners, which turned out perfectly fine the first time around. Um, let me go ahead and get a half letter planner for you. So... This is what the half letter planner looks like on the inside. There's no buckling at all compared to the mini HP. So I was super disappointed. So I've let the manufacturer know um, about that feedback and hopefully they will construct it the same way as the half letter planner. Also, I'm going to have them move the logo a bit further up. And yeah, that's the mini HP size. So here we have the personal size and I'm quite happy with this. You can see here I was testing out whether our page flags fit in the business card slots and they do. I'm going to ask them to move the logo up a little bit higher so it's centered and it's going to have a secretarial pocket. I did test this out with dividers and it looks like it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to have hopefully personal mini hp and personal wide in our next release on top of that i've been working on a second color as well because i do want to slowly introduce new colors into the line um a lot of you guys mentioned that you guys wanted brown as the next color so i've been looking into different options for brown so you've got the cooler browns the Warmer browns, hang on, let me just grab the color swatch I got from the supplier. So here are the swatches that the manufacturer provided me. So I asked for some nudes, some greys, and some browns, and I'm, and I'm thinking that I'll go with brown as the next color in our planner line because browns are neutral. I wasn't in love with the greys that she provided me, and I feel like nude just gets very dirty very easily and i didn't really like any of the nudes that she provided me as well so um it was a toss-up between 916 and 6074 so i was leaning more towards the warmer browns as opposed to the cooler browns um i just i don't know it might just be autumn right now <laughs> that's influencing me but last night i was pretty set on going with 6074 but this morning I woke up and I was like, nah, let's just go with 916. It's a lighter brown, so I feel like it might be different compared to the black that I have now. So a nicer contrast. Um, but yeah, let me know which color you would like to see the next planner be. Um, I'd love to know because it's always really hard choosing colors for me. Like I can't make up my mind and I feel like the more that I stare at the colors, the more it looks the same. I don't know if it's just me. So I've just gone ahead and grabbed all of the products for the new release. Actually, these are only the sub box release items. There's a couple of other items that I'd like to add into the new releases. And I'm just walking back to my office since it's got the best lighting in there to take photos. And because I'll be using this phone to take photos, I won't be able to vlog. So I'll catch up with you after I've taken all the photos.
So I've just finished taking the listing photos um, for the new products that are getting released this Friday and I thought I'd take the opportunity to go through the new releases with you while I'm here. So this is our Tomorrow dashboard in our signature Milk Vellum and if you're not familiar with our Milk Vellum it is slightly more opaque than regular Vellum but still has that little bit of translucency as you can see. It's also tear proof and also water resistant so if you spill some water on this it's going to dry right off and look perfectly normal as opposed to if you spill water on paper or regular vellum you might end up with um, crinkled paper and we'll have this available in all eight sizes that we stock in our shop so that's pocket personal personal wide a6 a5 half letter mini hp and classic hp so next up are our headers so we have a ton of new headers that are going to be available in the shop so these are printed on matte white paper we have date night work rent play date um what else do we have here meeting meal prep we also have bill due mortgage clean and self-care which was featured in our last sub box and each pack comes with two sheets in total so you've got tons of stickers in each pack for you to plan out your week. Next up we have our disc bound sticker albums. So these come with 10 sleeves inside and come in a complete set like so. So you get the full discs, you get the covers and also 10 refill sleeves. We'll also have um, an option to purchase extra sleeves if you would like. So these are a perfect organizational tool for storing your accessories. So I like to store my stickers and fun fact, they also fit our smaller sticky notes as well. So this is what it looks like all filled up. You can fit our sticker sheets perfectly um, to to a view and also back to front as well if you've got more stickers. Also, you can put multiple in one sleeve if you've got duplicates of the same sticker to keep them all together. You can also fit our transparent sticky notes in here um, perfectly as well as smaller sticky notes as well. So this is perfect for keeping everything all together or bundled together in one spot, especially if you like to take your planning supplies with you so you're not just throwing them into your bag um, and also it stores perfectly on your shelf as well which saves a lot of desk space so for our final items we have the matte large dew drops so these are not transparent but they're great for writing on we also have the two inserts that were a part of our latest sub box um, we have here the daily gratitude which is my take on the five minute journal it's something that i've been loving lately and i wanted to incorporate that into a ring bound version so you can keep your daily gratitudes in your planner with you and here we have the reading log as i mentioned before i've been getting back into reading a lot lately so what i've been doing is writing out the list of books that are on my to read list and slowly going through them all so there's a room to write when you've started it when you finished it and um, your rating out of five stars and last but not least we have the block top three sticky notes so this is great for recording your priorities for the day or your goals for the month things that you need to do or buy since these are very versatile you can use them in a lot of different ways so yeah i think that's everything for the new releases this friday um let me know what your favorite product so far of the new releases i feel like it might be the sticker album because this was so well received. I've gotten so many messages asking when it's going to be released or if it's going to be released for individual sale and whether the extra sleeves can be purchased um, separately. And the answer is yes and yes and this Friday. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on the printable versions of the inserts um, so I can upload that and stay on top of all my printables because I've been slacking on those lately and yeah work on the listings for the rest of the day
So yeah, I think that's all for today. I think I might go home now and need something to eat and then continue working from home because all that's left to do is basically upload the photos onto Shopify, create the descriptions and set everything up for Friday's release. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this studio vlog. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in particular in the future. Maybe an office tour, maybe a production day in the life. Um, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next and yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you later. Bye!